Have you ever wondered how plants grow and change? Well, wonder no more because we're about to delve into the fascinating world of plants. Plants, those green things that surround us, are incredibly important. They provide us with oxygen, food, medicine, and even clothing. But how do they do all that? Well, plants are complex living organisms that have specific needs and parts, just like us. They require air, water, light, heat, nutrients, and space to thrive. Each part of a plant, from the root to the flower, plays a distinct role in its survival. Just like us, plants go through various stages in their life cycle, changing and growing over time. And believe it or not, plants are quite adaptable. They react and adapt to their environment in truly amazing ways. So buckle up, because we're about to embark on an exciting journey into the world of plants. First, let's learn about what plants need to grow. Just like us, plants have their own set of basic needs, without which they just can't thrive. Number one on the list is air. Plants breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen, a process we'll explore more later. Next up is water. Plants need water to transport nutrients from the soil to their cells. Speaking of nutrients, they're the third on our list. Plants draw these vital substances directly from the soil, giving them the energy they need to grow. Then we have light and heat. Most plants need sunlight and a warm environment to photosynthesize, their way of making food. Lastly, plants need space to spread their roots and branches, giving them access to more resources. But just like us, plants face threats too. Environmental conditions like drought, frost, pollution or overcrowding can threaten a plant's survival. Without these essentials, plants can't grow, just like how we humans need food and water to survive. Now, can you name the different parts of a plant? Plants are complex living things, each with various parts that play specific roles in their survival. Let's take a closer look, shall we? First up, we have the roots. These are like the plant's anchor, keeping it firmly in the ground. But roots do much more than that. They absorb water and nutrients from the soil, vital for the plant's growth and health. Next, we have the stem. This is like the plant's highway, transporting water and nutrients from the roots to the rest of the plant. The stem also provides support, helping the plant to stand tall and reach towards the light. Then, we find the leaves. These are the plant's solar panels, absorbing sunlight to create food through a process called photosynthesis. Let's not forget about the flower, a plant's showpiece. Here we find the stamen and pistil, the male and female parts of the flower. These play a crucial role in reproduction, ensuring the survival of the plant species. Inside the flower, seeds are formed. These hold all the information needed to grow a new plant. Some plants also have cones, which protect and distribute seeds. And finally, we have the fruit. This plays a significant role in seed dispersal. Each part of a plant has an important job to do. Plants go through changes too, just like us. Their journey begins as a tiny seed tucked away in the soil. With a bit of water, sunlight and time, the seed sprouts and pushes a small green shoot towards the light. This is the birth of a new plant, a process we call germination. As days turn into weeks, our little sprout grows taller and stronger. It develops roots to drink water from the earth and leaves to catch sunlight from above. These are its growing years, a time of rapid change. Soon the plant matures, blossoming into a spectacle of flowers. These flowers, with their enchanting colors and fragrances, attract pollinators like bees and butterflies. Thanks to these helpful creatures, pollination takes place leading to the creation of new seeds. And so the cycle continues with these seeds ready to start their journey, just as their parent plant once did. Isn't it fascinating how a tiny seed can grow into a big, beautiful plant? Plants are very clever, they know how to adapt to their surroundings. Just as we wear a coat when it's cold or put on sunscreen when it's hot, plants also have their own ways of dealing with different environmental conditions. Plants can adapt or react to changes in their environments in a variety of ways. For instance, some plants have adapted to grow in dry conditions by having thick, waxy leaves to prevent water loss. Other plants, like the Venus flytrap, have developed unique ways to gain nutrients in environments where they're scarce. This plant can actually catch and digest insects. When conditions are too harsh, some plants will even go dormant waiting for better times to grow. It's like they're taking a long nap until the weather is just right. From deserts to rainforests, plants have found a way to thrive in all kinds of places. They adjust, they change, and they conquer. Plants are truly amazing, aren't they? 
Did you know plants have a special way to make their food? They do. It's called photosynthesis. Just imagine plants are like little chefs. They take in carbon dioxide from the air, mix it with water from the soil, and then use sunlight as their heat source. The result is their food, glucose. But that's not all. As a bonus, they release oxygen which we all need to breathe. So plants are like little factories making food and releasing fresh air. We use plants every day, sometimes without even realizing it. From the food on our plates to the clothes on our backs, plants are vital to our existence. In many cultures around the globe, plants play a significant role. For instance, in the Amazon rainforest, indigenous communities harness the healing properties of plants to create potent medicines. In Japan, bamboo, a type of grass, is used in the construction of houses due to its strength and flexibility. Over in West Africa, the cotton plant provides the raw material for vibrant textiles, while in Italy, the simple tomato plant forms the base of countless delicious dishes. From the aloe vera plant's soothing gel used in skincare products, to the fragrant lavender plant that aids in relaxation and sleep, plants truly enrich our lives in countless ways. So next time you see a plant, remember how important they are to us and the whole world.